So when your when your number one relationship is your relationship to your source of being, you ask how you let go of things. You let go by just reconnecting to to your source and recognizing that everything in this physical world is just an illusion. You know, everything that you own, including including your even your family members, we're all just uh, we're just all characters in each other's dreams, and that the only true essence that we, each and every one of us has is relationship to God. Now, God isn't some divine being that's outside of us that's bigger than us and so on jesus put it perfectly he said god is love and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in me and i in him so if you think of god not as some religious thing that was imposed upon us who's floating around in the sky like a cosmic bellboy you know i go get this and go do that and i'll give you my I'll, I'll, pay, and... I'll pay my dues yeah. and so on. it's it's not like that at all if you think of it as just love and being in a state of love then your attachments to all of the things that are you're having trouble letting go of just uh, you know just they just go out the window and that's when you ask earlier you know are you uh, are you afraid of death is it something you begin to realize that who you are, this invisibleness that was in the 10-year-old body that I was, the 30-year-old body, the 50-year-old body, and the 71-year-old body that I'm in now, that invisibleness is, is, is infinite. So the infinite part of me can't die. The infinite part of me, it can't die because to die means to come to an end. But if you think about your soul, if you think literally right here about now about the, the, the internal part of you, all right? not this physical part of you, not the stuff that your senses are, but beyond your senses, it's almost like you have to take those five searchlights that you place on your senses and turn those searchlights inward, okay? And if you really think about, about who you are, you'll begin to realize that who you are is deathless and who you are is birthless. And so it's like for me, the idea of dying is like something that I'm excited about. I mean, it's like I, 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 almo I almost can't, can't, almost can't wait. I mean, I'm willing to, you know. Yeah. That.